in this episode of Tesla Cam Stories. Bring the baseline back around again. This clip submitter was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Bradford, Ontario, Canada. As he approached a red light, autopilot slowed the Tesla down to stop behind a Chevrolet. That's when he suddenly felt an impact and his car flew into the Chevy in front of him. The driver of a pickup truck behind him didn't slow down, hitting the Tesla from behind at full speed. Luckily, the submitter and his family were unhurt, and so were the occupants of the other vehicles involved. The driver of the pickup truck was charged with careless driving. The total damage to the Tesla led the insurance company to declare it a total loss, and they provided him with the replacement value for a new Tesla Model 3. This submitter was driving his Model 3 in Los Angeles, California, when a Mercedes SUV in front of him crossed a double yellow line to exit the carpool lane. Right behind him was a police cruiser, which immediately lit up the instant karma lights. He definitely earned a ticket pulling that move. This clip submitter was driving his Model X down I-285 in Atlanta, Georgia, when he noticed two cars speeding up behind him. They were a Honda and a Nissan racing each other and weaving through traffic. As they passed the Tesla, the Nissan lost control, drifting down the shoulder before coming back into traffic and crashing into the back of a van. It looks like the driver of the Nissan was trying to avoid a flying plastic bag and got way too close to an SUV on the right, losing control when they overcorrected. He was inches away from hitting the barrier at full speed when he came back onto the highway. Instead, he crashed into another vehicle, risking the lives of its occupants as well. The submitter stopped on the shoulder and called 911 after making sure everyone was okay. He wants to thank his son, who was sitting in the passenger seat, and immediately hit the button to save this clip. He's also the one who told his dad to send it to Wham Bam Tesla Cam after they got home. What a smart kid! Brett and his wife passed a semi-truck driver going 50 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone down US Route 211 in Virginia. Apparently this made him upset because he immediately laid on his horn. Brett ignored him and engaged autopilot with the cruise speed set to 60 miles per hour. After a few moments, the semi driver came flying up behind him, still blaring his horn. He attempted to pass Brett before throwing a full drink at the Tesla. Luckily, Brett noticed his passenger side window was down and was able to floor the juice pedal before anything touched his car. He then allowed the angry driver to pass, per his wife's request, as she thought that it might de-escalate the situation. Instead, the truck driver started braking and swerving all over the road. Next, the truck began to come to a stop in the middle of the highway. Brett kept his distance, but once he saw him open the door of his truck and start to exit his vehicle, he floored the accelerator, zipping around him and not looking back. They didn't contact the police, but they did examine the exterior of the car from top to bottom just to be certain that the crazy truck driver hadn't caused any damage, while joking that they'd just experienced a wham-bam moment. Mike drove his new 2021 Model Y to Oakville, Ontario, Canada to visit his family who had no idea about his new vehicle. This was his brother Luke's reaction to seeing the Tesla for the first time. Mike says they're both big fans of the Wham Bam channel, and Luke would be thrilled to get a shout out. Well, we can do better than that. We're sending you a Wham Bam hoodie, Luke. Maybe your brother has the Tesla, but you've got the merch. And there's the high five. Nice. Jason had just come from church and was sitting at a red light with a car in front of him when Wham Bam, he got a Hyundai bump. Jason says it seems like Hyundai owners are getting jealous of all the Honda bumps. 
They filed an insurance claim at the scene and Jason is now waiting for a response from the insurance company. The other driver claimed he didn't have his license with him and Jason is just hoping he has a license at all. Falcor was letting his Model Y charge as he was getting groceries at a local store in Springfield, Virginia. A Lexus SUV parked behind him and, as they got out to walk into the store, Sentry Mode captured this. The guy took a moment to admire the Tesla, then gave it a thumbs up before heading into the store. A few minutes later, they returned to the Lexus. The guy stopped again to give the Tesla another thumbs up. Falcor adds that if the guy is a Wham Bam Tesla Cam fan and sees this, he wants to thank him for the compliment to his car and wish him a great day. Jack had parked his Tesla overnight in a public parking lot, and when he came back to his car the next morning, he had a pretty strange Sentry Mode event waiting for him. A person dressed in a latex bondage suit was sneaking around the parking lot. They were probably looking for a car to break into as it looks like they have a stone in one hand. The Tesla flashed its lights and displayed sentry mode active on the screen, which sent them running for the hills or the dungeons. We're not sure exactly where they went. Alex was driving his Model 3 on I-95 in Northern Virginia when a pickup truck hauling a trailer started farting out black smoke. Alex thought the truck was rolling coal. He followed it for a while, but it didn't release any more black smoke even when it accelerated. What do you think? Was the pickup driver rolling coal on Alex, or was the truck having some sort of engine trouble? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. Ivan was driving behind an ADT work van when suddenly an unsecured ladder caught the wind and came flying toward him. He tried to swerve without going blindly into the other lane since he hadn't had time to check if there was a car next to him. The latter ended up causing some minor damage to Ivan's Tesla, which ADT's insurance is covering. David was driving his Model 3 in Agora Hills, California when he witnessed a big accident in the opposite lanes of the highway. It's hard to see what caused the vehicle to spin out, but it ended up getting hit head on by a truck. David sent the video to the local police department. Jordy left his Model 3 parked over a crosswalk to avoid blocking his neighbor's driveway while he quickly ran up to his girlfriend's apartment to grab something. He figured that most people in this neighborhood walk in the street anyway, so nobody would probably mind. An old woman approached the Tesla while he was up in the apartment and keyed the entire side of the car. He reviewed sentry mode, found the video, and immediately recognized the neighbor. Later, he returned to the same spot and waited for her. A few moments later, she came walking out, so he confronted her, showing her the video on his phone. They started talking, and he learned that she has some physical problems, a disabled husband, and a son with mental problems. She got pushed over the edge when people started parking in front of her garage. Jordy listened and felt bad for her situation. He contacted a local TV station in an attempt to help her, and they interviewed him in a long segment and contacted the city planning department. Un tipus de protecció perquè els cotxes no li aparquin davant i tingui més fàcil la mobilitat. És veritat que nosaltres avui aquest matí, quan el nostre redactor, el Francis Manzano, ha anat a parlar amb ella, a veure si volia venir. They installed a barrier to stop people from blocking her driveway. Jordi dropped the vandalism issue and paid the 2,000 euro repair bill himself. Not everyone would have done that, Jordi. Nice going. Cliff was sitting at a red light when he saw some geese flying overhead, and the last one didn't quite make it over the wires.
Here's another bird video from Mark who saw a whole family of birds tripping all over the road. And let's just say it was a very big family. Mark put on his hazard lights to warn the cars behind him while the feathered flock safely crossed. Ed was driving his Model X in London, England when someone getting into an Uber looked like she said, love your car and gave a thumbs up. Peter was driving his Tesla in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. As he approached a green light, he had to quickly maneuver to the right to avoid a collision with a car coming the other way, which had tried to turn in front of him. He stopped, and the other guy yelled, turning signal, bro. The thing is, that light doesn't have a turning signal. Peter says that, for a moment, he was worried he might have run a red light. But when he reviewed the Tesla cam footage, it revealed that he had been in the right. Green light, bro. Up next is a story of a very unlucky Tesla owner. His name's Julian, but we're going to call him Jinxed Julian. His day was already off to a terrible start when his phone flew out of his pocket while riding the Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure roller coaster at a Universal Studios theme park. Luckily, the technicians were able to recover his phone thanks to the Find My iPhone feature revealing its exact location under the roller coaster tracks. Unfortunately, it was absolutely destroyed. Interestingly, even with the phone screen shattered, the car still recognized it and let him open and operate the car without having to use the backup key card. On his way to his home in Tampa, Jinxed Julian stopped at a supercharger. Just as he finished charging and putting the cable back as usual, he heard a loud thud as he went to get back in his car. The charger handle hadn't been secured properly, and this time he was upset by a new dent on the trunk. Jinxed Julian adds he really exercised a lot of patience that day. Jonathan was cruising at about 70 miles per hour on a highway in Canada with autopilot engaged when a deer jumped out of nowhere. Autopilot didn't react at all, so Jonathan slammed on the brakes himself. Dave was driving into his condo's parking garage when he heard a loud noise, which was getting louder and louder. As he rounded a turn, he found the noise was coming from a motorcycle rider who was revving his engine. As Dave pulled up beside him, the motorcyclist started moving, almost hitting the Mini Cooper that was driving behind him. He then wiped out and crashed the bike into the concrete, all while not wearing a helmet. By the time Dave got to his parking spot two levels down, he could still hear the engine revving at a high RPM. Dave adds that the guy looked like someone who'd been caught stealing things from people's cars in the garage in 2019, so he didn't want to approach him. Instead, he contacted building security. The next morning, the bike was parked in its usual spot, so Dave's not really sure what was going on. Candace was driving home on some back roads with a lot of twists and turns. That's when a guy randomly stepped out of the woods like Bigfoot carrying a box and some beer cans. He dropped some cans on the edge of the road and started trying to crush them with his foot. Tesla cam stories are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Flying ladders, latex suits, Bigfoot, Evil Knievel, angry truck drivers, and goose crashes. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one and we'll see you all next Sunday.